Learning construction. Learn, share, expand. Hey guys, welcome back to learningconstruction.com. In this video, I want to show you guys a really cool machine that we use in construction very often. And that is the concrete boom pump. A boom pump is used uh, to pump the concrete on areas that are very large and in otherwise you would be using a lot of hose and a lot of manpower to move the hose around for example in this situation where we're putting a, a large slab we will be covering a lot of area and it would require a lot of manpower to take care of it so instead of doing that we're using a boom pump to take care of this concrete pumping Tell me why the machine is. Okay, right now, yeah. I'm running the uh, concrete pump and I'm controlling the speed of the flow and where we're placing the concrete. All the remotes are different. This one has three sticks. Got the uh, main, which is the first section. It runs up and down on the first section. Uh, this is a four section boom. This also runs left to right. As you can see, I'm moving it left to right and it's not moving because you got to feed it into it and let it push into it a little hard for it to really get going. So the, the guy in the hose didn't even know I moved it yet. So this, this is a proportional remote where if I push it, it goes faster. If I push light, it goes slow. It makes it slow. The old method was uh, called black and white where you had to feather it. Now, now you just feed into it. Okay, and this is my uh, last two sections. last two sections, my uh, fourth section and my third section, brings them in and out, and this would be my second section. Right now I don't have to worry about the second section too much, I'm just going to go straight up and down. Uh, so anyways, this, this is my RPM, and then I got a uh, volume. If I push it in, it's going to go faster. The speed of the flow of the concrete. And then I bring it back, it'll slow it down. It can really go fast. I think uh, it's pumps rated at uh, what is it? Uh, I think it'll uh, pump four yards in a minute. Maybe not quite that much, but but you you never have it up that much. It, no call for it, no need for it. Especially with a four inch hose that we have there. It's got a reducer up there. If you didn't have the reducer, you could turn it up further. But with the reducer, you, uh, you don't want to go to the back. 
So how do you how do how do you get into the trade? Of what get you do? into the trade. Basically, I'm an operators engineer, and usually you could go to Rancho Marietta and learn how to do that. But they don't do that too much for for the basic trade and operators engineer where they're running heavy equipment. But for the concrete pump, the easiest way is to uh, to go to the uh, different pumping companies, concrete pumping companies, and keep bugging them and say you want to run a pump. It looks like a good trade that you would like to get into, and eventually there'll be an opening. Now, with that opening, you're probably going to have to run a trailer pump for a while and learn concrete, and that's a pump without the boom, just, just hose. Just hook up the hose behind the pump and run hose, and then you you can get used to how to pump concrete and the different concretes that there are, which it really varies anymore. It's uh, it's not like the good old days where it was a three-quarter mix five sack concrete. Now they got a lot of different additives. And it's good to learn behind a trailer pump first before you get to the pump. And that's basically how you would get into it. Well, I hope you guys liked the video, and don't forget to keep checking out the videos here at learningconstruction.com. And if you have any questions or comments, put them on the box below. And once again, thank you for watching learningconstruction.com.